Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to install a SATA hard drive in the OWC Mercury Classic enclosure. Though there may be some slight variance between the enclosure shown and the one you may be installing into, the instructions themselves will be accurate for all bridge configurations. We've gathered our materials and are working on a static free surface. We are now ready to begin. We've already removed both the drive and the enclosure from their packaging. In order to fully open the enclosure, slide the outer shell back, then push forward on one of the halves to separate them. The top shield has four retaining screw holes, one of which will have a screw in it. Once you remove this screw, the shield will come right off. You should find a small plastic bag taped on the inside. It contains the screws you'll need to fully assemble this enclosure. The power and data connectors on the drive attach to the bridge board via these two cables. It's easiest to hold the drive upside down when attaching the cables. Once you've got them attached, turn the drive over and set it into place. In the plastic bag there will be 12 screws. The four wide cap screws are used to attach the drive to the chassis. Align the drive screw holes with the slots in the chassis, then secure it into place with the screws. Next, place the shield over the drive as shown. You'll need the four smaller screws to attach the shield to the chassis. Attach the four screws, two on each side. Before attaching the outer shell, you may wish to wipe off any fingerprints that you may have left on the chassis or the shield. Set the drive top down on your work surface. Place one of the halves on the chassis, then turn the unit over. Place the remaining shell so that it's offset about a half an inch towards the rear. Align the shell slightly, and you should be able to slide it forward, locking the two halves together. Use the remaining four screws on the four rear holes to hold the shell in place. Your Mercury Elite Classic is now assembled. You may now hook up the power adapter and a data cable of your preference. 